What is going on, everyone? Thanks so much for being here on time. We're going to get started in about 30 seconds or so. So prepare yourself, grab a pencil, grab a notebook, and uh, get ready to take some notes. Get ready to take some notes. I'm going to share my screen with you here in just a sec. Let me turn my camera on here in just a sec. You guys can hear me, right? Type a one in the chat if you can hear me. Nice. You guys are fast. Wow, you guys answered that before I even finished my sentence. I was like, type a one in the chat if you can. And I see ones popping up. You guys are fast. Awesome. Love it. Uh, also, change your chat settings to all panelists and attendees. I see a lot of people, maybe like half you right now, still haven't changed your chat settings. If you don't change your chat settings, nobody can actually see what you say. Uh, people are wondering if there's going to be a recording. The recording will be paid. It'll be charged. So if you want to buy the recording, you can. Otherwise, you can just maybe hit record on your own computer and record your own personal version. Otherwise, uh, yeah, you can just send over a few bucks and you'll get the recording. But I want to be here live for this. This is, this is really, really, really next level stuff. And it blows my mind this isn't being taught in schools. It's not being taught really even on, on YouTube. Uh, it's not being taught on social media very much. And it blows my mind that especially vegans aren't teaching this because like we got to get the vegan message out there. And a lot of vegans I know want to turn this into their full-time income. So let's just make it happen. Let's just get this information. And let's just, let's just share it here. So um, I'm going to keep, keep doing these workshops regularly. Every workshop will be different today. We're doing one on creating a vegan product. You guys here for the right reason? Is, is that why you guys are here? Creating a vegan product? Vegan digital product. Okay, sweet, 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 sweet. Cool. Let's get to it. So, ba 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 ba. I'm gonna share my screen. And before I do that, let me let me share my camera. Let me say hello. Hey, there we are. We got Marilyn Monroe in the background. Someone's like, Ted, it's not very vegan of you to have Marilyn Monroe in the background. She wasn't even vegan. I'm pretty sure vegan wasn't even like popular back then. Don't know if anyone was really vegan back then. Uh, plus. This isn't my decorations. It's my 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 parents' decorations, but uh, she's she's a, she's a beautiful beautiful lady. Was a beautiful lady. So, anyways, uh, change your chat settings, all panels and attendees, and let's get into it, shall we? This is gonna be good. Share my screen here. Ba 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 da ba. Cool. And we're gonna go full screen. Can you all see the screen? Yes. Okay, cool. Well, that's just fantastic. Good, 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 good. All right. So where are you from? Post in the chat where you guys are from and where you gals are from. And if you haven't already, change your dang chat settings to all panelists and attendees. Wow, Florida, Florida, Florida. Florida is popping off, man. Everybody's from Florida these days. Finland, Syria. Wow. So you got Karma from Syria, Louis from Las Vegas, Juan from Colombia, Latrice from Miami, Burl from London, UK, Yelena, Miami, Florida. Uh, she goes eerie from Calgary, Alberta. Hey, neighbor, my neighbor. Uh, Kimberly, Kimberly's from California. Susan, cold, wet England. Yeah, I know what it's like. I've been there every, every go there every summer. And it's, it's, it's cold and wet. Beautiful though. Astrid from Switzerland, Seb Cam, yep, yep, California, I believe CA means California, what's up, Seb? I did a great interview with Seb earlier, you guys go check it out, it's on his YouTube channel, on mine as well, check it out, Ressa, Ontario, Canada, Michelle from Miami, Florida, Riley Sage from the West Coast, Christy from NC, Newcastle? <laughs> I'm not sure. Indiana, we got uh, Taya from Indiana. We got Jennifer from Liverpool. Bernadette from California. What's up, Bernadette? Kevin Caldwell from Jersey. What's up, Kevin? Belagia from Montenegro. I think that's how you spell it, Montenegro. Lima, Peru. Got, got Jean from Lima, Peru. Latrice from Miami, Florida. Wow, 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 wow. You guys, there's too many names. I'm sorry, I can't read them all. It's like more and more coming as, as we speak. So uh, you guys are awesome. Thanks so much for, for being active in the chat. Uh, question, pop quiz, and a question. What diet and lifestyle do you follow at the moment? Are you guys vegetarian, vegan, raw vegan, 
standard North American diet. What kind of diet are you all following? Got a lot of vegans and high raw vegans in the house. Vegan, 90% raw, raw vegan, raw vegan, raw vegan, 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 raw vegan. Okay, well, it's like, okay, let's just pause. Can we pause? Can we pause and appreciate the fact that everyone here right now is either vegan or raw vegan? And we're all here to learn how to turn this into our full-time income, turn this into our career. Like, where else can you go on the planet to meet a vegan, let alone a vegan who's interested in turning this into the business? Like this is we're, 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 this is a very niche following right here, a very, very niche audience we have right here. And you guys are part of a special hub. This is cool. This is really, really cool. So who wants, here's a question, who wants to make a product today and cheapers, sell it today too. Make a product today and sell it today. Like does that, does that seem realistic type realistic if it feels realistic and type unrealistic if it feels unrealistic i'm genuinely curious does it feel realistic or unrealistic to make it and sell it the same day a lot of realists in the house awesome i don't see anybody saying unrealistic oh until miss calgary or mr calgary i'm not sure if that's a female name or a male name uh someone's saying unrealistic to be honest he's totally fair to, to feel that way. Uh, I know a lot of people still haven't changed your chat settings, so I'm just gonna keep pasting this until you do. This goes for everyone. Change your dang chat settings, and that way everyone can see what you're saying. Otherwise, it's just going to me, okay? So, awesome. Well, just so you know, it is realistic, and by the end of today's class, it's not only gonna be realistic, it's gonna be like, duh, how did I not think of that? That's actually a bit silly. Like, I'm, I'm just, can't believe no one showed me that before. Like that, that's how simple it's going to be. So uh, I'm going to close the chat down for just a sec and I'll open up periodically. My goal with today's training is to reverse engineer what I do to make and create vegan products from scratch so that you can replicate this strategy and use it yourself and make a sale today. And if you're hundred percent focused, like I've been, I'm going to show you how you can make $120,000 a year with your vegan products. Now, if you do the math on 120 grand a year, that's approximately hundred, that's approximately $10,000 per month. Okay. Which is approximately, if you're doing high ticket, it's about 10 sales per month. So we'll talk about high ticket in just a sec, but just so you know, like the math, the math works out. Um, and as you can see a screenshot below, I've recently cleared over a million dollars in sales with all 100% vegan products. So it's definitely possible if, if an average guy like myself can do it, you can too, but here's the thing. I don't like telling people to turn their phones on airplane mode or shut their phones off. I don't like telling people what to do. If you want to focus and if you want to actually make this a part of who you are and what you do, you naturally will turn your phone on airplane mode. You naturally will shut your phone off. Like it's kind of like if you're on a date with somebody, right? And you're trying to like connect with them. You probably wouldn't be on a date with them like this. Like, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you just naturally put your phone down and you'd be like, focus with them, right? And so same thing with this. If you're going to succeed, you're going to focus. Like that's just what it comes down to. So do what you will with your phone. Do what you will with all the other tabs. Do what you will with all the people in your house right now. But if you're going to focus, you're going to win. And if you're not going to win at this, if you're not going to succeed with this, it's all going to come down to lack of focus. Like that's it. So do what you want with your phone. But uh, my phone personally is obviously off on airplane mode. So my name is Ted Carr, and I became a vegan for ethical reasons over 11 years ago after seeing some footage of how animals are treated inside of a slaughterhouse. I'm curious to know how, why you guys became vegan as well. If you want to post in the chat, I'm actually interested why you became vegan. Was it for the animals, health reasons? I saw a horrific film. Health, health, health. Okay. Okay. Health, health, health. Lose weight. Looks like a lot of people here started becoming vegan for health reasons. It'd be cool to see like a, an official poll, official graph to see if it like started from the animals or started from the environment or started for the health or what was the reason. Maybe even started from a significant other or a spouse who's just vegan. So you became vegan just to be with that person. But uh, cool. Okay. So we're all here for you know, we're, we're all, we're all vegan for either looks like environment, the health or the animal. So there we go. So that was my reason. And uh, I've since decided to devote my life to becoming a vegan course creator so I can help spread the vegan message 
and so that we can all end the animal suffering and live on a more peaceful, healthier planet. And here's the really, really good news, okay? You might want to write this number down somewhere and like look at it every day because it's probably going to be a reflection of, of you in the future. Every day, 1,700 average people, just like me and you, become millionaires, specifically with our own businesses. Every day. That means today, 1,700 people become millionaires. Tomorrow, 1,700 people become millionaires. The next day, 1,700. And it's like, it comes down to a decision. Are you going to do it or are you not going to do it? And what's the beautiful thing about making a decision is that you have nothing to lose by making a decision. Like when you make a decision to do something, it's in here. And if you can't even make a decision in here, how are you possibly ever going to make a decision out here? Right? So when I ask people, hey, how much money do you want to make? I get different ranges. Some people say I want to make two grand a month. Other people say I want to make 20 grand a month. And it's funny because personally, my goal right now is to make $300,000 a month. And I'm like, how come I am choosing 300 grand a month, but everyone else is saying like two grand, three grand, four grand, five grand a month. Like it's just in here. It's just a decision you make in here. Nothing to lose by shooting for 300 or even 400 or 500 grand a month or 5 million a month, whatever. Like it's just a choice in here. And so if you're aiming low, just know that you might as well aim high because it's all in here anyway. Okay, it's all in here anyway. So post in the chat right now, how much do you want to make per month? I'm curious. Now that I've said that, now that I've said that, how much do you want to make per month? Triple my current income. Elon says 170K, 10K per month, 30K, 40K. There we go. So these are some nice, these are some nice healthy numbers. In the past, if I didn't give context to that question, I probably would have received a lot more like, oh, anything would be nice at this point. Like just some really low ball numbers. 10K, 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 cool. 100K, awesome. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, cool. So good. Well, just so you know, those numbers add up over time. And if you're hitting 10K a month, or you're hitting 20K a month, 30K a month, you're eventually going to become someone who's amassed a, a, a healthy amount of income. Um, so you can say that you've done over a million bucks and you can even have a net worth of over a million dollars if you're holding certain assets. So, and if, if here's the thing too, if during this pandemic, when more vegans are making a full-time income online now more than ever before. And if just by offering vegan digital products, I was able to go from being completely tech illiterate and $30,000 in debt, which is like opposite of being broke. It's not the opposite of being broke. It's like beyond broke, I should say. Like there's being broke and then beyond broke. I was beyond broke, 30 grand in debt. So if I was able, if, if just by offering vegan digital products, Going, of, going, going from tech literate and 30 grand of debt to being my own boss, setting my own work hours, living where I want, driving my dream car and saving thousands of animals each year. Surely there's a way for you guys to be earning at least 120 grand a year too, right? Like at least 10 grand a month too, if you just had the right system. Well, there is, but there's a catch. The catch is this class today is not for everyone. In fact, you can leave right now if you're not vegan. You're just looking for a short-term get-rich-quick scheme. You don't actually care about helping people, and you can't focus. Like, just leave now. Save your time, okay? I'll just save you a lot of time. Just go now. Because what I'm going to share with you today is the step-by-step -step system for turning a positive vegan lifestyle into a vegan digital product. You guys ready? You guys ready for this? Who's freaking ready for this? Today's workshop is going to be perfect for you if you're vegan. You love helping people. You want to be your own boss and set your own work hours. You want to work from anywhere while helping people online through your phone or your laptop. And you want to be doing at least 120K a year while spreading the vegan message. Type M-E, that's me, in the chat if this is for you. Me, me, me. Okay, perfect. You guys are all here for the right reason. Oh, my God. What is happening? Uh, clear. Clear drawings. There we go. Cool. Zoom is just... Acting up. Awesome. You guys are all fitting the criteria. So uh, here's what I got planned for the next 90 minutes together. It might be even shorter than 90 minutes. First, we're going to get to product clarity. We're going to determine what to actually create. Second, we're going to get into product creation, determine like how to actually create it and then actually create it. And then thirdly, we're going to get into, thirdly, is that even a word? Thirdly? Maybe. Post in the chat if that's a word. Thirdly. Thirdly, we're going to get into product distribution. How to, how, where to actually put your product once it's done, how to actually sell it. Okay. So any questions before we begin, this is interactive workshop. We're going to be taking questions as we go. So any questions before we begin? 
Also, if you have questions throughout, post them in the Q&A section. Okay, there's a Q&A box. Do not post questions. I repeat, do not post questions in the chat. They're going to be gone. You guys look how crazy you guys go in the chat. You guys are awesome, but it's it, the questions are going to come and go. Vincent, can I do this on my phone? Uh, like that's a question you'd put in the Q&A because I'm not, not going to see that, but I saw it now. Um, you can watch today's program on your phone. But in order to really make a thriving business, it's highly advised you have a laptop. We've helped people do it with like iPads and stuff, but they, they all suffer. They all suffer and they all wish they had laptops. And as soon as they get laptops, they go, oh my God, this is amazing. So if that's the only question, let us proceed. Okay, here we go. Uh, again, as we go on, ask questions in the Q&A box, okay? And to be clear, Today, I'll be showing you how to create a product that you can sell for as much or as little as you want. Uh, but you're not going to be making big money from this product that we create today. But when you use it in conjunction with a high ticket offer, which I'll talk to you about in, in a moment, that's where the big bucks are going to come in. So when I start teaching this today, I don't want you thinking like, well, how the hell am I going to make a lot of money with this? You're not. You're not. Like It's like today we're creating... Uh, to, to, to like right now in the next 90 minutes, we're gonna learn how to like create some cement, right? And with, sure you can sell cement, whatever, but you make a hell of a lot more money if you take that cement, turn it into blocks and then create a big house with it and sell the house, right? So just FYI, just so we're clear. Uh, because low ticket offers, like we'll, we'll, I'll show you how to create in just a sec. These are gonna be used to build your audience. And high ticket offers, which we'll go into depth in a sec, are gonna be used to build your fortune. You might wanna write this down. Low ticket is for building an audience. And high ticket is for building a fortune. Anyone who has a fortune, they with the digital marketing space, digital sales space, they've got high ticket offers. They also have low ticket offers. And low ticket offers are just used to build the audience up. Okay, so keep that in mind. There's a difference. Now, before we get into this, let's get clear on this. What would you be doing every day if with your own vegan course or coaching program, you were earning 120 grand a year or 10 grand a month? What would you be doing every day? Post in the chat. And I'm going to see if I guessed correctly. Because on the next slide, I'm going to put some answers of what I think you'll say. What would you be doing every day? If, if you like doing what you love every day, make it 10 grand a month, 120 grand a year, what would you actually be doing? Okay, we've got working on what you love, I'm sure. Traveling, eating durian, learning and serving, traveling. Be relaxing, not worrying about money. Okay, taking life, sharing vegan tips, laying on the beach, laying on the beach, travel, brainstorm, working on land, investing time, yoga, eating fruit and tropics. Okay, well, here's my guesses. Sleeping in more, not having to wake up to alarm clock, enjoying more, enjoying your morning eating routine, spending more time with your family, more self-care time, working out, doing yoga, meditation, more breath work, vacations and travel. So I'm saying, Buy a tiny home. Hey. So how would it feel to be doing that every day? Like if that was your day-to-day -day life, how would that actually feel? What would the emotion be? Blessed. A dream. Amazing. Wonderful. Amazing, amazing, amazing. Like sparkles in my body. So grateful. Fulfilled. Amazing. Wonderful. Amazing. Magical. Dream life. Okay, well, here's my guesses. Lovely. Amazing. Got that one right. Nirvana. Best ever, stress-free, dream come true, dream life. Yeah, there we go. Beyond words, full of energy. Okay, relief. Yeah, right? So now, practically speaking, what would you spend your money on? Like you have the money coming in, but now what? You don't want to be like Scrooge and just pile up a bunch of money. What would you actually do with the money? Vacations, traveling, travel, travel, electric car. Hey, there we go. Tesla, I hope. Charity, reinvest, reinvest. Fruit and travel, helping others, helping family. Boom, investing. You got a lot, a lot of investing, wow. Cool, so my guess is where maybe an animal sanctuary, maybe greenhouse garden, maybe your, your own retreat center, your own healing center, your own vegetable farm, your own fruit forest. New house by the lake, perhaps. Maybe a nanny for your children. Earth ships, that's cool. Vacations, new car, more self-care. Boom, off-grid sustainable community, move to the tropics. Yeah, nice. So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. Type make it happen in the chat if you're ready to make it happen. Type make it happen. Because there's really only 
if you think about it, there's only really, and I could correct me if I'm wrong, but I think there's only three ways to go through life financially. It's either, and there, there might be some more, but these are like the main three I can think of, at least the main three choices I, I would consider. Number one, you just get a nine to five job or you get a corporate job. You get pay, someone else gives you a paycheck. Just get a nine to five, work for someone else, do what they say. Be somebody else's, you know, army servant or whatever. The other one is to become a monk and go through life like a monk, go live in the Himalayas or go live in Thailand. And just the way monks get paid in Thailand is people just give monks free stuff all the time. Monk, being a monk is cool. I just think a lot of us here have like ADD and we can't really be a monk. And the third option is to be an entrepreneur, make stuff, sell stuff, make stuff, sell stuff, make stuff, sell stuff, like they've been doing since ancient times. So it's either work for someone else, be told what to do every day, or sit and do nothing as a monk, which is pretty zen, pretty beautiful, or create shit, create shit and offer shit, like be an entrepreneur, right? So let's make it happen. Let's make it happen. First things first, we get into product clarity, we're jumping right into it here today. When it comes, this is where you take notes, take notes. We got to get clear on the format here. All right, the format of the product. This isn't the sexiest part of the class, by the way, but this is some real, real practical advice. Like when, when I used to think about what to sell online, I was like, oh my God, should I start a business? Should I start an app? Should I start a company? I wasn't even thinking about the format, dude. When it comes to digital creations, there's only a few formats, which is actually really relieving. Here they are. You've got eBooks, which come in the form of PDFs. You've got audiobooks, which come in the form of MP3s. You've got you, you have videos, which come in the form of YouTube videos or, or MOVs, whatever. You've got Zoom links, like here we are today, Zoom link. I could have sold this class today, but it's free. And you got Google Docs, right? You just give someone a Google Doc, a link to a Google Doc. That's it, like these, these are the formats. Ebooks, audiobooks, videos, Zoom links, Google Docs. Today we're gonna to focus on on ebooks just because it's like really simple and like they sell really well. Uh, there might be some other formats, by the way, but these are the most popular. If I if I missed any that you think, like post in the chat. But like these are the main ones I, I see selling all the time. And just by looking at this page right here, this sheet, this 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 five options right here. Hopefully you feel a little bit of relief come over you. Hopefully there's a little bit of like, ah, I'm either going to be offering an ebook, an audiobook, which is the audio version of the ebook, some videos, some Zoom links, or some Google Docs. Like that's it. Okay. When it comes to digital products, again, there's all sorts of ways of making money online. You could have like an OnlyFans account. You could be doing freelance work. You could be doing graphic design work. That's not what this workshop today is about. Today's workshop is about how to create your own digital product. And these right here are all products. And they come in the form, if you haven't noticed, they'll come in the form of a link. So it's either a link to an ebook, a link to an audiobook, a link to a video, a link to a Zoom link, or a link to a Google Doc. Like you're literally selling links. You might write that down. When, when, you, when you sell digital products, what are you actually selling? You're selling a dang link. How did you come to this class? Who clicked on a link to come to this class today? Type link. Type link if you came, if you clicked on link to get to this class today. Also, type me if you would have paid at least one dollar to attend this class today. If this is if you already feel like this is of good value here, you, you would have paid a dollar. Type me if you would have paid a dollar. I just missed out on like 15 bucks, 20 bucks. I just missed out on 20 bucks. I could have made 20 bucks, right? So that's like guys, do you realize how how, how simple that is? Like I I just showed you, I kind of gave you proof right there of like how I could have made 20 bucks today. Here's a link. You want it? Give me a dollar. Boom. I made 20 bucks. Yes. If I was living in Thailand, that would last me a week, man. Rice is like a dollar a day there. Like you can live on this stuff and you don't need to make that much, but uh, yeah, like boom. So there we go. Next, once you're clear in the format, again, today we're going to focus on, on, the, on the PDF, on the, on the ebook. You got to get clear on the goal. What is the goal of the program? What's the goal of the product, right? And so for this, like a lot of people, it's funny, a lot of people, they'd skip this step. A lot of people skip all these damn steps. A lot of people don't even take the first step, but if they do, they usually skip it. So the goal, what's the goal of the program? What's the goal of your ebook? What's the goal of your thing? Again, this, today we'll focus on the ebook. 
What's the goal of the uh, of the ebook? So these are the best selling HD QERs. Now, what the heck is an HD QER? It's pronounced Hitaker. Who knows what Hitaker stands for? Post in the chat if you know if you know what Hitaker stands for. My uh, my students know what this means. Come on, come on, come on. What's it mean? What's it mean? A highly desirable end result. Close. You're missing a letter. Boom, highly desirable, quantifiable end result. That's exactly it. These are all highly desirable, quantifiable end results. Now, here's the beautiful thing about this. If you go, I'll do it for you so you don't get distracted. Stay focused, stay focused. If you go to, oh my God, I'm getting, dis I'm getting carried away here. If we go to, uh, if you go on Google Images, again, I'll do it for you, don't worry. If you go on Google Images, and you share my screen, you search for human needs, you see this, right? These are human needs. And all humans are attracted to these things like no tomorrow in, in this order, by the way. So at the bottom, you have the physiological needs, which is like air, water, food, shelter, sleep, clothing, reproduction. Then you have safety needs, which is personal security, employment, resources, health, property. Then you have love and belonging, esteem, self-actualization. Now, in order from bottom to top, the bottom stuff sells the best. Then the safety stuff sells really well after that. Then the love and belong sells really well after that. And then esteem and self-actualization. Now, if you don't look at this chart and you just kind of wing it and just think, hey, what am I going to sell? Maybe I'll sell these, these bottle caps. You're not going to sell very many. You're not going to sell very many. Because it's like, this isn't a human need. No one has a need for this, like... Sure, big companies, super niche companies have a need for these things, but not many people with, when it comes to eBooks and digital products. So we gotta think digital products, what sells, this sells, but in order from bottom to top. So in the same way, in the same way, people need water. In fact, this is distilled water. In the same way, people buy water in real life and they buy food in real life because they gotta eat and they pay for like Airbnbs and they pay rent and they buy for houses because you need shelter, pay for a place to sleep. In the same way people buy that stuff in real life, well, there are three main categories that people pay for online. And those three categories are right here. Three categories. There's a more beautiful body. People pay for that. People pay for a more beautiful body. They pay for a more beautiful bank account. They pay for more beautiful relationships. Those are the three categories. So in real life, it's like you pay for food, water, and shelter. Online, you pay for stuff that helps you get a more beautiful body, more beautiful bank account, more beautiful relationships. These are the best selling Hitakers of all time. I can't tell you how much this page of the sheet, this ugly looking three blocks of text. I can tell you how much, how helpful this is for you guys. Like you might not be aware of it right now, but by, by going after something on this page, I just saved you like 10 years of trial and error. Like this is what sells. This is what sells. And these are examples as well. You can tweak things and you can finesse things a bit, but like these sell better than anything. And in fact, if, if you and I want to have a race to like $10,000, first one to make 10 grand, and you're allowed to pick something on here, but I'm not, you'll win. I'm not even going to play that game. That's stupid because you're going to win because this shit sells so well that you don't even need to be that good at sales. You just need to pick something on here and offer it to people. And then figure it out along the way on how to actually help them get that result. But the point is you focus on what people want to buy and then focus on how you can actually deliver on it. So I'll tell you a little short story here. I never knew what to offer. And for the longest time, it was making me insane. It was making me like go into a deep, dark place. I was just spending all my time wasting and just scrolling on social media and YouTube instead of actually working on my business because I didn't know what to offer. I didn't know what I wanted to offer. And then it came to a point where I, I had a paradigm shift and I stopped thinking about what I wanted to offer and I started looking at what was actually selling. Because I'm like, you know what? I don't know what to offer. I really don't know what I want to offer. So I'm like, what's actually selling? I'm like, oh, that's selling all the time. That's selling all the time. That's, that's interesting. These three things are selling all the time. Every ad I see on Instagram, every ad I see on Facebook, which you guys are going to notice after this class today, 
It's always about the body. It's always about the bank account. It's always about relationships. Always. And so when I noticed that, I was like, if that's the case, I'm going to call those the big three. You got the beautiful body, beautiful bank account, beautiful relationships. And then I went and I thought about, okay, well, what can I offer that lines up with one of those three? And just getting clear on the fact that it was only three categories made me feel amazing. And then I'm like, well, I can help people create a more beautiful body because I cleared my skin from acne and I lost like 20 pounds of weight by eating a raw food diet. So I put together a 30 day raw food challenge program. And that's how I got into this game and started making, making good sales. First, it was actually a raw food recipe book and it was a raw food challenge. But point is I picked one of those categories and went for it intentionally and deliberately based on what was selling, not on what I wanted to do. What you want to do is kind of irrelevant because if you want to like do jumping jacks all day, well, you might be able to do a YouTube channel helping people do jumping jacks. Or but if you want to like pick your nose all day or something, that's not really going to sell that well. I don't care how much you want to do it. It's probably not going to sell that well. So let's get back to this and take a picture of it so it lasts longer, as they say. <laughs> take a picture, it might last longer. Boom, there you go, take a picture. And then these are, these again, these are examples. You can always like, you know, finesse these and, and tweak them a bit, but this is what sells really, really well. Who finds this page helpful, by the way? Who finds this page helpful? Yes, yes, me, 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 me. Cool. Okay, good. So today we're going to pretend we're going to create an ebook, as I mentioned earlier, and a weight loss program because weight loss is just sells terrifically well. And if we're vegan, if we're raw vegan, we know how to help people lose weight. It's pretty freaking simple. You peel the banana, you eat it, you repeat. Next, you got to focus on what's the path, what's the method that you're using inside of your program. So first we're clearing the format, it's the ebook. Then we're clearing the goal, it's weight loss. Next is like, okay, what's the actual method that we're using to help people achieve that goal? The path, like you gotta ask yourself, what path is gonna provide the fastest and most sustainable way somebody can reach their highly desirable, quantifiable end result with you? And what do I mean by highly desirable, quantifiable end result? We should actually back up here. When I say HDQER, I mean highly desirable, meaning something on this page. And I mean quantifiable, meaning you can attach a numerical value to it, a numerical data point to it. And it's an end result. End result, end result, end result, not path to the end result, end result. You guys know the difference between like a running path and a finish line? Yes or no? Like there's the path that you run on, right? And then there's like the finish line. You guys know the difference? Yeah, okay. Amazing how many people don't know the difference. And it's like when you're making sales, it's like so many people focus on trying to sell the running path. Nobody actually gives a shit about the path. They actually care about the end result, the finish line. So when it comes to your path, you gotta ask yourself, what path is gonna provide the fastest and most sustainable way somebody can reach their highly desirable, quantifiable end result with you, All right? And by quantifiable, I mean like a 20 minute 5K or you weighing 100 pounds less or you're down to 10% body fat or you'll be able to do a you know 15 pull-ups or something. Like put a number to it. People love numbers. That's what sells. And so if it's weight loss, maybe the most fastest way and the most sustainable way is a fruit-based diet. Now you might think that, oh, the, the fastest way is going to be get them to do a water fast. Well, sure. Get them on, get them to do a water fast, get them to go in the sauna, get them to run on the treadmill all at the same time. They'll lose the weight fastest, but it's not going to be sustainable. And so they're going to, uh, they're, they're going to get messed up. And obviously if you're running like a water fasting clinic or something, it's another story, but people are usually looking for fast and sustainable, fast and sustainable. It's like, if I just taught you guys how to get rich quick here. But by doing that, you probably also lose the money really quick as well. So it's kind of like weight loss. So never forget your customer's reason for buying from you guys. It's, it's never the path. They're never going to buy from you because it's a vegan diet. They're going to buy from you because of the end result. It's the highly desirable, quantifiable end result. So don't try and sell a vegan diet, sell a fit, lean, sexy body and use the vegan diet to get that. They buy the HDQER, they buy the end result and they're just using the path. 
They're just using the path. They don't actually give that many shits about it. They care about the quantifiable end result, right? So once you're clear on the path, you know something's going to work, then you get clear on the price. And today, just price your product at a dollar, okay? Remember how I said create a product today and sell it today? Well, we're going to create a product and sell it for a dollar, right? Sell it for a dollar. Once you go high ticket, you can start selling your programs for 997 and above, right? Now, once you're clear on your price, which today is a dollar, ebooks generally sell for like 10, 15, 20 bucks, but today it's just a dollar. Uh, now you get clear on the niche. What's the niche? And the niche is like the kind of audience that it's meant for. It's the kind of audience that wants that highly desirable quantifiable end result and is probably open to using that path of your choice and can afford that price that you're selling it at. Okay. And the niche, the way to find a niche is you ask yourself, how would you label yourself? And how would you label yourself? If, if you label yourself a female, maybe you want to help females. If you label yourself a mom, maybe you want to help moms. If you label yourself an athlete, maybe you want to help athletes. If you label yourself a However, a, a, a vegan entrepreneur, you help vegan entrepreneurs or help people who want to become vegan entrepreneurs. Like you just ask yourself, how would you label yourself? That's it. If you're, if you're a Christian, maybe you want to help Christians. All right. That's how you pick your niche. It's really simple. So now that you're clear on how to form on, on the format of your product, you're clear on the goal of your product. You're clear on, on the path that you're going to use to help people reach that goal. And you're clear on the price of your product. And now you're clear on the, the, on the niche of your product. If you have any questions for me before we proceed, post them in the chat. Post your questions right now in the chat. And any questions you have, like while I'm busy teaching, post them in the Q&A. But right now, post your questions in the chat if you have any, based on what we've just covered. And I'll answer them and then we'll get back to the, the session. Is vegan fitness enthusiast too broad a niche? No. The niche is how you describe yourself. Well, that's how you determine the niche. The niche is, that's how you determine the niche. But the niche is actually like the group of people that you're helping, the type of people that you're helping. What was the price variation? I'm not sure what you mean by that. Please define the path again. The path is the tool that you use to help your customer achieve the result that they want to achieve. So let's say they want to achieve six pack abs. Well, the path that you find works the best is might be intermittent fasting with a vegan diet. Or the path might be 100 sit-ups a day. Or the path might be high-intensity interval training. It's the, it's the tool that you're using to help them get that result. How do, you know there is an, how do you know there is enough in the niche? Enough what? Oh, yeah, you can charge 10, 15, 20 bucks for an ebook. You can charge as low as a dollar, though, too. Please show the list of steps again. Uh, that is maybe that's what you mean. One dollar to top high range. I mean, your high ticket can be nine, nine, seven, and above. You, you, I, there's people selling programs for a hundred thousand dollars. It's as high as you want. Well, how do you know if there are enough customers? That's that's a good question. So the way to find out if there's enough customers is, I generally, and this goes against a lot of people's like initial thought, but I like to enter competitive markets. I like to enter saturated markets where there's like a lot of people selling something because if there's a lot of people selling something, it tells me two things. Number one, people are buying that thing. And number two, there are people buying that thing. Like there's a lot of people buying that thing. That's where there's a lot of people selling it. So if you're concerned if there's going to be enough customers, um, look and see if anyone's already selling something like that. And if they are, and that's their business, then you know there's enough customers. So if my niche was weight loss, what sort of ebook would you recommend? A uh, weight loss ebook. You'd have to pick the kind of e weight loss ebook you want to create. But if your niche is weight loss, then I recommend an ebook helping people lose weight. Cool. All right. Let us continue. We're going to get into the product creation now. This is where the rubber hits the road, as they say. 
first things first, what I like to do is do a Google Doc outline. And then I like, to, so I'll just show you what that Google Doc outline looks like right now. And then I'll give you a copy of this once it's done. But for now, I'm just going to share my screen. First, you want to outline your ebook. Let's again, again, today we're just going to use an example of creating a, an ebook and selling it for a dollar. So first things first, I create a Google Doc outline and it's just consists of the title. What's the title? And I put a little intro plus a call to action. Call to action is like what I want them to do. Maybe I want them to like book a call with me. And then I'm going to do like the three main points. It's going to be three to five, but today we'll just do three main points of the book. Also known as chapters. And then I'm going to have an outro like a summary of what we just covered, plus a call to action, which again, I'll probably book a call with me. And the reason I want them to book a call with me is because I wanna sign them up for my actual like coaching program. If you wanna have a coaching program, that's fine. We'll talk about that later. But point is you want them to do something. Maybe it's not book a call with you. Maybe it's subscribe to your YouTube channel, or maybe it's go watch Earthlings or something, or maybe it's buy your other program, buy your recipe book or something. But Point is you're going to want them to get you're going to want to get them to do something so i'd create a, a google doc outline and and i, I fill this in right now so let's go through it together again we're going to create a a, a a weight loss program so i'm going to call this the fruitarian fat loss accelerator and this is because i know fat loss sells really well i know how to help people lose fat and i know how to eat a fruitarian diet and i know how to help people do this faster. So this is called the Fruitarian Fat Loss Accelerator. Okay, I'll just leave this title here so you, you know what that is. Then I'm going to get into my intro. So I'm going to say something like, um, welcome. This book is for you if you want to lower your body fat percentage and look and feel amazing while eating a high raw or fully raw fruit-based vegan diet. Um, and I'll say something like, I used to be 20 pounds overweight with lots of fat around my midsection and since discovering and applying the three secrets i'm going to share with you here today in this book i was able to go from 172 pounds and chubby to 150 pounds and lean AF. And I'm gonna show pictures. Show before and after pics here, okay? I'll put some pictures in there. Boom, that's the intro. Now, you might be thinking, Ted, that's some shitty writing. I don't care. I'm just getting the outline done. We'll make it better later. Uh, and then I can say, um, if, you'd like to work with me personally and have me give you a custom meal plan slash workout plan so you can also achieve a great physique feel free to book a call with me here Thank you. Okay. Then I'm going to get into the three main points of the book. Secret one, I'll call it secret two, secret three. And these three main points of the book, here's, this is some, this is some big value right here. I'll stop the screen sharing for a sec. By the way, was that helpful to see? Yes or no? Was that helpful? More or less? Even though we're just getting started? Yeah. Okay. So you might be wondering, what are the three points going to be? Oh my God. What are the three points going to be? Guys, the three points. This is, this is, this right here is worth everything. This is worth your whole 
day to day. You should trade 24 hours for what I'm about to share with you. These three secrets in your book, they're not just three general tips. They're not just like three things that you want to share. They're not three things that you want to talk about. These are three things that get the person who's reading the book to go from thinking like, I can't do this because excuse to thinking, oh my God, I can now do it. I once thought that, but now I don't think that anymore. Now I can do it. So these three secrets, the purpose of them is to replace a limiting belief with an empowering belief. That's the whole purpose of these secrets. And so the way to do that is to create a how to. So for example, secret number one is going to say how to, for example, um, drop 10 pounds in 10 days without, this might be a bad example, but 10 pounds in 10 days without calorie restricting. Now, that kind of sounds impossible. And that's a good secret. You want your secrets to sound impossible. You want your secrets to sound too good to be true. You want them to sound too good to be true and then show how they're true. Kind of like at the start of this class today, I said, hey, I'm going to teach you how to build a product and sell it today. And some of you guys were like, oh, no, that's, that's unrealistic. That's not possible. That's great. I want you to think that way. Because now I'm opening your mind and making you think, wow, I actually can do it. And when you do this a lot, when you, when you, when you're, when you get good at like finding something people don't believe and then getting them to believe it, it makes them think, wow, what else is possible? Imagine if I actually worked with this person. Imagine if I actually go through these three secrets and get some results, but then what if I actually booked that call with them? Maybe they can help me lose weight, right? So that's secret number one. I'm going after their belief of, I don't want to do calorie restricting. That's too hard. Well, I'm saying, hey, you can do it without calorie restricting. Next secret would be um, how to source out the highest quality fruit, no matter where you live. And this one, they're going to think, there's no way I'm in Mississippi. I can't get high quality fruit here. Or they're going to think, no way, I'm in Venezuela. We can't get good fruit here. Or, no way, I'm in... I'm in you know, Washington. I can't get high quality fruit here. And then I show them. I'm like, wow, I actually can get high quality fruit. Okay. So there's that and there's that one. Then there's another secret, which is maybe like, um, give me an excuse. Guys, give me an excuse for why you guys think people can't lose weight on a vegan diet. What are the excuses? It's too expensive. That's a good one. Don't have time. There we go. No time. Okay, we're going to use the time one because you guys... Good, time, time, time. Okay, watch this. How to prepare every meal in less than five minutes. That sounds way too unrealistic. And then I'm going to show them 10 different fruit meals I use. I'm like, okay, peel some bananas, throw it in a blender, add some water, blend. That's one. Take some oranges, cut them up, peel them, boom, five minutes, done. Get some apples, put them in the spiralizer, spiral these, spiralize these apples, boom, done. Like I'll show you a bunch of five minute meals. And you're like, wow, I actually can do it in five minutes. This is epic. So these are just three examples. They may not be the best, but they're, they're something to begin with. So now that we have our three secrets, we have our intro with some before and after pictures. We have our call to action. We have our three secrets that are going to get them. Oh, by the way, these three secrets, the way to pick them, they're going to change over time. Like the smarter you get with this, but the way to pick them is just think like, and you might have four secrets. Maybe there's four secrets. Someone's saying like, oh, I hate exercise. Maybe the fourth secret is like how to get shredded without any exercise at all. Again, that sounds totally unrealistic. So how do we do it? Point is you, you're going to listen, start listening for people's excuses and their objections. And when they get on the call with you, they're going to tell you why they can't join or why they can't sign up, or just gonna come up with some limiting belief that's like absolutely super silly, but they truly believe it. So to them, it's not silly. To them, it's like their reality. Uh, you gotta keep listening for these and then put them into your books, okay? Next is, once you got clear on that, then you, you talk about that. And the way to talk about these things, you, you could sit at your laptop and, and write everything out. You'll spend like maybe four, five, six hours doing that, which some people love writing. If you love writing, sit down and write, okay? But if you don't love writing, 
you can use what I call the audio method. So next step, once you created the outline, like we've created the outline here, now you got to fill it all in. And we, we're kind of starting, kind of jumped the gun here, started to fill it all in, but um, like we filled the intro a little bit too much already. These secrets, so to fill in these secrets, yeah, you could sit and write them all out, but I recommend just going for, a, going for a walk through the forest or going through a walk around your neighborhood or whatever. Take your phone, hit the, hit, go open the voice memo app and just start reading and start mind dumping all your ideas about how to drop 10 pounds in 10 days without calorie restricting. Just talk, just talk, just talk. You're gonna come home with a bunch of like, maybe like an hour long worth of audio. Take that audio file, send it to somebody to transcribe for you, like write out word for word. There's also softwares you can use for it, but I just like to get a human to do it. Pay him five bucks or something. They'll write it all up for you. It's gonna be garbage because it's just all your thoughts, but at least it's gonna be something. And then you can either, again, go in, you can either pay someone to edit it all for you, make it all good, to take your thoughts and actually write something good and cohesive. Or you could just do it yourself. Just edit out all the crap thoughts that you had and you're left with what's really good. This whole ebook, it only needs to be like four or five pages. It doesn't need to be long. It could be four, five, six, seven, ten pages tops. Like it doesn't need to be a long ebook. People don't care about length, they want speed. Right. So you brain dump it all out, pay someone to write it out for you, fix it all up yourself, boom, done. Next with the outro, you say something like, um, hope this was super helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me on Instagram or book a call with me here. Link done. That's the ebook. Now let's pretend I filled it all out. Let's pretend I filled it all out. I could legitimately sit here and spend the next couple of hours just filling it all out, but let's fast forward, shall we? What's next? Well, next is we need to create a cover for the book. Nobody wants to buy a book that looks like that. Be honest, type in the chat, say Emmy, if you judge a book by its cover. I judge books by the cover all the time. I judge movies by the cover all the time too. Where humans are like that. That's like say, saying, like, don't judge a book by its cover. That's like telling someone, okay, go to the grocery store and don't judge a fruit by the way it looks. Just pick any fruit and bring it home and hope it's good. It's ridiculous. That's the worst advice. Of course, you're going to judge a fruit by the way it looks. If it's moldy, if it's rotten, you're like, fuck that. It's garbage. And people who say like, oh, you shouldn't be so judgmental. You definitely want to be judgmental. How are you supposed to know if the fruit's good? You got to judge the fruit by the way it looks, smells, tastes. Uh, don't, even, don't even go to taste. Look, smells, feels, judge fruit. Man. Same with greens. Judge your greens. They should look fresh and live. Anyways, next, we got to go to create that book cover. So how do we do that? Well, we go over to Canva and we go to create a design and we go book cover. Bam. I'm going to be moving fast. Don't worry. It's watch. Uh, you can figure this out. I promise. Canva.com. Click book cover and you're brought here. Boom, you click that, looks, I don't like that at all. We need a um, fruitarian fat loss accelerator. I need like one, two, I need four words, fruitarian fat loss accelerator. So I need something good. Huh, here we go. That's so ugly. Oh man. These are all pretty bad. Uh, whatever. Let's just go with this for now, shall we? Tarian Fat Loss Accelerator. Boom. Let's pretend that's really good. You guys, I gotta pretend for me here, with me here. Okay, we'll make that yellow. Making your body, um, giving you a lean physique in five days. Whatever, drop five pounds in, oh, we said 10 pounds. 
Okay. Now, realistically, I probably would spend a good 30 to 60 minutes on a book cover. No longer. Just, you got to get this out. You can change it later. If you want to see an example of another one I did, uh, go to fruitarianbook.com. Don't do this now, but see that example? That example doesn't look too bad. All right, that's just Canva. Another one I did, veganmoneybook.com. Not too bad. Not too bad. So now that we have this, now we need to go back to our checklist and see what it says to do. And what do we have? Oh, a dazing 3D mockup. A dazing 3D mockup. You can also go to smart mockups, but I recommend a dazing 3D mockups just because it's quick and dirty, quick and easy. But if you want more examples, you can go to smart mockups. So what we do on Canva, now that we have our book cover, is we're going to go to download. And we don't want PDF, we want PNG. And we're going to click download. This book cover is embarrassingly bad. But we're making progress, baby. Type progress if you love progress. Or progress, sorry. For all y'all's Americans. Progress, good. So now we go to a dazing. This is the secret. Adazing.com slash cover dash mocks. Grab that link. It's the link you want. Adazing.com slash cover dash mocks. Okay. Now we're here. Oh, okay, so it's gonna it, it's gonna play with you like this and say, hey, there's only one mock-up template per user. No worries, I have a workaround, guys and girls. New incognito window. These are not common cover mocks. Boom, they're not gonna know it's us. Top secret here. Flying under the radar. Oh my god. They've they've even oh, this used to work. Come on, I guess I could use a Safari. Okay, if, if, it, if it doesn't let you do it, um, it should. Dazing.com slash cover mocks. Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my God, someone's saying DuckDuckGo. I don't know if this is going to work. It worked before, like it worked like an hour before we went live. You might just have to go to, okay, well, this is cool. I'm glad this comes up because this is real life. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to smart mockups and we're going to say peace out to a dazing. And we're going to log in. And we're gonna choose a book cover. So book cover. Let's go with a dazing had some good ones, man. These ones are all like I'm not a fan of these. A dazing had good ones. Isolated? Yeah, that's what we want. Good, good, good. Nice. Okay, so click isolated. And then we're gonna pick this one looks good. It says premium. That could be premium. I can't use it. Maybe I can use it. Uh, upload from Canva. Wow, look at that. It wants me to do something. I don't know how to do. Okay. Upload image. There we go. Being brave. Hey, look at that. It wants me to do the spine. I don't have a spine. I don't have a spine. That sounds really bad. Huh. Well, that's not terrible, but it's also not great at all. Um, apologize. I'm not sure how to do the spine. Honestly, a dazing is, is, is great because it doesn't um i've never had that issue before with the dazing that sucks
But point is, you go to a dazing.com, you guys are going to be able to do it because you're not abusing it like I am. They'll be able to allow you to, uh, to do your thing. But even if you don't have a 3D mock-up, it's not the end of the world. This I'm just going. To, this is a bell. This is a bell and a whistle. Okay, forget the forget the 3D mock-up. Okay, you can, you can do it later if you want. All we need is this. All we need is a picture. So what we do is now we take a picture, and we drag and drop it into the. Into the Google Doc. Okay, I'll put it in the very top. Boom, boom, there we go. Guys, a book is coming together. So when they get this book, they're gonna open it up and they're gonna see this. And then they're gonna see all this stuff down there, which will be all of our words. Um, and here's a tip, by the way, when you're writing your ebook, make every sentence a paragraph. Can't tell you how many people don't make, don't do this. I think I pretty much did it here already. Yeah, every, every, never have back to back sentences. Like every time there's a period, make a paragraph. So that's a. Yeah, and as for the size of the font, size 23 looks good. 22 looks good. Boom. Okay, so now what do we do? We go to Google Doc export. All right, now check it out. What I'm about to share with you guys here right now. This is gonna be equivalent to the moon landing. All right, what I'm about to share with you is gonna be equivalent to the moon landing. We are about to, I'm about to, fulf, I'm about to officially fulfill my promise here today. What was my promise at the start of the call? Create a product that sells. Create a product, that was, that was it, create a product. Selling it is the next step here, but I'm gonna create a product. So check it out. Yeah, the, yeah, the, yeah, sure. So what we do now, it says Google Doc export. Okay, so now I go to our book. Let's say we call it uh, $1 ebook. We're about to create a product. This is it, you go file, you go download and you click PDF document. Click on that, you wait five seconds, five, four, three, two, one, it's gonna pop up, boom. When I click this, we're gonna see our product. You ready for it? Boom. Hey, we have a product. It's four pages. It, it, it's a bit of a, you know, it's a bit of a um, cleaner upper. We got some work to do on it, but it's something, it's a start, okay? We can sell this thing. And in a moment, I'm gonna show you how to sell it. Now, if, this was like, a bit, if we had spent a good couple hours on it, we could make it really good, but it, it's a bit of a fixer upper for sure, but we can definitely do that later. Now I'm gonna show you how to sell it. All right, let's say it's really good and we're happy with it. Well, what does the, what is our, what does the class say to do? We gotta enter the next phase, which is product distribution. Okay, before we get into product distribution, do we have any questions? Post them in the chat if there are any questions. We'll get some quick questions and then I'll show you how to actually upload it and sell it. We're about 70 minutes into today's program. Last part was, the last part, yeah, I went to file. You're done, you go file, download, and then you just click PDF. That's it, that's how you create a product. Okay, now, can I see the bottom of your CTA in the book? I mean, it's not, it's not the greatest, but there it is. Cool. Okay, so where would you go to get a cover done for you? You wouldn't get a cover done for you. That'd be silly. Just make a cover on Canva. Make a cover on Canva. Make a cover on Canva. Learn the skill of design. You want to become a full stack entrepreneur here. Learn the skill. If you really suck at design and you're, you hate it for some reason, go to fiverr.com or upwork.com, get someone to do it, but just do it yourself. Canva it makes it ridiculously easy, okay? If someone in the chat wants to make Lewis a cover, just type, I'll do it. And then Lewis, you can pay them 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks to make your cover, okay? I'm sure people would happily do it for free. 
Look at all these people. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. A bunch of people in here will do it for you. Look at that. Boom. Vegan community, baby. Let's go. So next, product distribution. See, Vincent, Vincent is uh, in the chat. He's like, I'm 19. I need money and have no job. See, that's where you get into like, that's like almost like, uh, that's too close to begging. Nobody, Vincent, unfortunately, nobody gives a shit that you need money and have no job. That's just the reality of it. They might say they care. They might kind of feel bad, but they don't really want to give you money because you don't have a job. People want, people want to buy what they want. So focus on what they want. So instead of saying, I'm 19, I need money, have no job. Because they don't give a shit about that. What you would say is, hey, I'll create it for you for free in exchange for a testimonial. And with that testimonial, I can then go on and get a lot more clients. Now that's an offer they can't refuse. Boom. Plus, if he pays, he's going to pay you freaking 20 bucks anyway. It's not, it's not going to be worth your uh, time, but just do it for a testimonial. Do it for free. Okay, product distribution. How do we do that? Two, two good options here. You can either go to flurly.com. I know it's a weird one. Flurly.com or payhip.com. Now, payhip.com, they take 5%. So if you sell something for like 10 bucks, they'll take 50 cents. Flurly takes 1%. Flurly takes 1%. So PayHip's going to go out of business soon when people find out about Flurly. Flurly is great. They take 1%, but if you already have PayHip, just use it. It's your, it's your money you're giving away. But Flurly, they take 1%. They're awesome. So you go to flurly.com and you, look at that. You keep 99% of everything you sell. You log in and I was just doing a test. This is actually a thumbnail that did really well on YouTube. That's why it looks like there's some sex going on. It's called, the video was called Why Sex Sells. Um, I was just testing this out, but once you're on Flurly, you go to products, you click new product, you upload the product file. Like this is like what they're actually buying. So in this case, I'd upload the $1 ebook PDF. Then the cover image, I'm gonna upload that cover image. Boom. Ideally they say 90 by 650, but 900 by 650, but that works. We're gonna put a description and we're gonna just probably grab the intro. Boom. We're gonna set the price to $1. We're gonna give it the URL of, we're gonna say um, fat loss, create product. You must have, must have a product name. Oh, the very top. Fruitarian fat loss accelerator. Boom, shows up right there. It's only a dollar. And create product. Hey, we've created a product. It's a it's like live online. Now you can go and officially buy this now. So who wants to be the only person? Only I only need one. I only need one volunteer. Go on there and buy it. If you buy it, I will. I'll get on a free private five minute coaching call with you and give you my best advice based on where you're at in your business and what you want to do next. Free five minute one-on-one -on -one private call. If you buy this now, just go and buy it for a dollar. It'll cost you a dollar. I'm going to test it out, see if it works, see if I make a sale. Then back to this, it says, Put the link in the bio. Okay, so while everyone or one of you is going to go and buy that, appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to put this in my bio on Instagram. So you can put this in your bio with a Bitly link. Uh, Bitly is a really cool website because instead of just having a link like that, which looks kind of ghetto, you can create a Bitly link, which I use all the time. And you go to Bitly link and you just paste it in there. And you can create a custom link. So bit.ly bit forward slash, I'll say fat lo uh, fruit fat loss. Call it fruit fat loss. I might as well call it fruitarian. Fruitarian fat loss. Save. Boom. Now I have a link that looks pretty sexy. Fruitarian fat loss. Now what's also cool about this link is that you can track the clicks. So in case you're wondering, in case you're wondering how many people click the link for today's webinar, 300 people click the link. 
and we have, uh, I think there's like 130 signups and we have about uh, 60 people here today. So what's the math on that? 1% is 60 of 130, 46% show up rate. That's pretty good. Average show up rate for a webinar is typically like, depending on how many days in advance you promote it, average show up rate is like 33%. So you guys, you guys actually showed up, I appreciate that. Hopefully it's worth it. Has today been worth it for you so far? Has today been worth it for you? Yeah, yeah, okay, cool. Type a, uh, type a, type paid in the chat if you went and paid for this book. Type paid and I'll make sure that we can get on a quick five minute coaching call together and I can give you some private personal advice. It wouldn't load. Did I not make it? Oh my God, it's right there. Did I not make it like, did I not publish it? Paid, Quintel got it. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna to go to sales. Hey, look at that. We made a sale, baby. We made a sale. This, this deserves a dance. We made a sale. Ooh, baby, we made a sale. Also, next step, I appreciate that. Appreciate that Quintel. Next step, is going to be to put that link in the bio, right? So I told you about a bit.ly link and I got sidetracked on some tangent about uh, webinar show up rates, but let's get back into it. Wow. I'm so at my heart rate's going like crazy right now. It's a weird, I've literally made over a million dollars and I get super stoked on a dollar sale. Like that's the power of doing this. Shit. It's so fun. This is so fun. I got so, so, like my heart rate is up right now. I'm like legit, like, holy fuck, holy fuck, holy fuck. This, this is working. Like it works. It refresh it. Anyone else bought it? No, I don't care. I made a, made a dollar sale. Sweet. Uh, appreciate it. I'm not quite sure how to pronounce your name. So sorry if I mispronounced it. But anyways, let's go to our Instagram. And we're going to put the link in our bio. Uh, now, here's the thing about Instagram. It only lets you put one link in your bio. So right now I've got this plant-based bundle thing going on. So I can't actually put it in my bio, but if I was going to, I'd go edit profile and I would just put the link right there, right there. But I can't because I'm doing this right now. But uh, if you want to put multiple links in your bio, no problem. You can just go to sociatap.com. You can create a, uh, an account here for free. And you can have who type a type of me in the chat if you use Sociotap or Linktree. I can go as an example. Yeah, Elena. This is what it looks like. Boom. So you go to here, you go to her Bitly link, right? She's using Bitly, which means you can she can track how many clicks she's getting. And this is how professional it looks. So she could put her uh, one link here, some free summer body mini course. She could put her ebook here. This is the, she got multiple links. So this is how that works. And so she just put that, put that in the bio. So now that she's put that in the bio, uh, what's the next step? Oh yeah, it's to put it in your caption. Tell people about it. Put in your captions, put in your stories, put in your YouTube descriptions every single day. That's it. Let's check Yelena, see what she's doing. I'm going to make a guess. Here's my prediction that when I click on one of these pictures on Yelena's page in the caption, she's going to mention link in bio. Ready for it? I don't know if she does. I hope she does. Let's just check. Six tips on how to get fit and healthy, blah, 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 blah. Download free train link in bio. Hey, what do you know? So what do people do? They go to link in bio, they buy her thing. Next one. Boom, 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 boom. Big ass caption. Uh, uh, link in bio, click link in bio. So Yelena, what I would do is I would put your at, I would say link in bio and then I would, I would at tag yourself. So people can just click on it because now I have to go out of the thing and go back to your bio. 
So just put at Yelly's belly and just make them get them to click on it. That way it just takes them here. So good stuff. So yeah, anyways, yeah, right there. You say follow Yelly's belly. We'll just say click the link in Yelly's belly bio for to get it for free. So they click it. And that, okay, boom. So that's that. Uh, that's really the the final step is to promote that thing every freaking day. And like, guys, who who be honest? Who's like who was like a little bit excited for me when I made that sale earlier? Even though it was like semi semi planned or staged, it wasn't actually not planned. I didn't think of that. It was actually on the fly. But you guys are actually excited for me. Cool. How, how cool is that? Appreciate you. So that was awesome. That was awesome. We made a sale. Now back to it. What next? What now? Ooh, let's get into it. What now? So this book now becomes the outline for your high ticket coaching program. So if I wanted to, let's say I was serious about that whole weight loss retirement thing, I could easily turn that into a high ticket coaching program and I could sell it. I could sell coaching for it, helping people lose weight for a thousand bucks at the minimum, but upwards of like five grand. We had someone in our academy yesterday call me up. She was super excited. Ted, 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 Ted. Somebody got on a call with me and they signed up for my fruitarian weight loss program. I was like, she signed up. Well, well, what did she pay? Did she pay in full or what was the thing? So yeah, she paid me $5,000 in full. Boom. For a high ticket coaching programs, that person could lose weight. People are willing to pay five grand to lose weight, especially because this chick can get results because she does a fruit-based vegan diet. So why high ticket? You're thinking five grand. I could never sell that. You don't have to sell $5,000 programs. You can start at a thousand bucks. And once your confidence builds up, you can go from there. But here's why ticket. Look, if we were to race, right? And their deal was, hey, first one to hit $10,000 in sales wins a million dollar bonus. Would you guys want to do that race with me? Yes or no? If we were to race, then let's say it was free to join. Free to join the race. First one hit 10 grand, wins a million dollar bonus. You guys want to do that? Okay. Now, now here's the next question. Okay. If you're in the race, why not? It's free to join. Would you rather use the low ticket strategy and speak with a thousand people to get them to pay you 10 bucks. You have to actually speak to a hell of a lot more than a thousand people if you actually want 100% of them to sign up. But would you rather talk to a thousand people or sell a thousand people? Or would you rather create something epic and life changing, something extraordinary, and attract, based on how epic your offer is, just attract 10 people who are ready to seriously invest in themselves? What seems faster? High ticket or low ticket? What seems much faster? Like a thousand fucking people. That'd be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Holy shit, I'm exhausted. I'm at 40. And I didn't even, I just counted. Sales would come much slower than that, by the way. I'm exhausted counting to 40. High ticket is 10 sales, man. So would you rather make a thousand sales or 10? When I did the math, I, when I first did the math on this, I was like, whoa, I'm so close. I was so stoked. I was like, excited how quickly I'd actually be able to make a million bucks. And then it happened way quicker than I imagined. It actually had like, when I checked, I was already hundred grand over. When I checked to see how much I had actually made, I was $100,000 over a million. That's how fast it comes in. Because I'm selling high ticket. And if I was to start all over again, knowing what I know now, this is what I would do from start to finish. I'd Step one, I'd get clear on my $1 product idea like we just did. That was a great start. Good start. High, high five team. Boom, we did it. Next, I would turn it into a high ticket offer. I'll turn it into a high ticket offer to talk about in a sec here. Apologize for the weird animation that's going on right now. Next, I would grow my audience around that offer. And once you have the high ticket offer, now you start growing your niche audience of people around the offer, like people who would likely to buy that offer. Then I would start inviting my audience to a free workshop or a class that goes into depth on helping them get that result. Kind of like the, this class right here. Next, I'd 
get the strong desire students to actually enroll in the program if they want more help. You find the people in, the, in your class who actually have a strong desire to crush it and get them enrolled in your program. Then I'd work closely with those students to help them get fast results. People care about fast results, so get them results quickly. Then I would collect testimonials from the students, which they'd be happy to give because they got results. Then I'd remarket the program with a new and improved offer. From there, I'd build up my team and delegate all the tech stuff and all the sales. Because I'm not a fan of doing all the tech and all the sales stuff. That can be delegated out. But that's what I would do if I was to start all over again. Now, I know that sounds like a lot of work. But if you're like me, and you can really buckle down and put in the work if you just know what to do, type a me in the chat. If you just knew what to do, you could actually do it. But maybe the biggest problem for you is you're just not quite sure what to do. There's so many freaking potential steps. Yeah, yeah, But if you knew what to do, like we just showed you step-by-step step on how to create that dollar offer, what if we could do the same thing for a high ticket offer? I could walk you through step-by-step step how to create a high ticket offer. What if I could then walk you through step-by-step step how to actually make those sales? Then I'm gonna walk you through how to actually get the testimonials, et cetera, right? So, so if I could walk you through all this step-by-step, stuff, step-by-step, you'd be able to do it, right? And if you'd like my team's help, hand-holding you through that entire process, getting you to that $10,000 a month and eventually $120,000 a year level from start to finish, step-by-step, step, everything from A to Z, I've created a results guaranteed beginner friendly coaching program. Okay. Results guaranteed beginner friendly coaching program. And by results guaranteed, I mean, we guarantee that if you follow our system, you'll make your entire investment back within 90 days. And if for some reason you don't, then I'll personally take over and make sure whatever needs to get done gets done. And we won't stop working with you until you do. Cause there's no reason why you can't make your entire investment back. If you just follow what we do step-by-step step. this way, you're not risking losing out on anything out of pocket. Right? Whatever you put in, you get back within 90 days or we keep working with you until you do. And the reason we're able to offer a result guaranteed approach like this, unlike every other company out there, unlike all the other offers out there is because we are very selective. We only work with vegans and we only work with people who we know we can get results for. And part of our criteria for looking for people who we know we can get results for, there's several pieces of criteria. One piece of criteria though is like, do they have a path or method or tool that they can use to help their clients get results. So if you know of a method that can help people get results really, really well, well, we know that we can help you get results because that's all business is. It's helping people solve problems. So if you can help somebody solve a problem, like one of those earlier problems we mentioned earlier, we can help you solve the problem of not knowing how to set it up or not being able to make as many sales as you like. So that's how it works, right? And we're also obviously extremely good at our approach at helping you create winning offers and our highly skilled with our system for generating actual sales. And by we, I mean me and our other head coach, Lissa Maris, AKA Raw Food Romance. Type raw food in the chat if you are a fan of raw food romance. Yelena, Yelena, yes, yes, yes. Huge fan, I love her. Yeah, she's freaking awesome. She went from being super overweight to being fit, creating a fit, sexy body for herself using a raw food diet. Then she went on to, she followed the exact process we just showed you. She got a result Then she showed people how to lose weight with her raw food diet. She started putting the link in her bio and she started making sales, 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 sales. Then she moved it to high ticket, started making more sales, 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 high ticket. Now she's doing like, I, I can't, I'm not at the liberty of saying what she's doing per month, but let's say she's doing well over 10K a month, well over $120,000 a year, to say the least. I, that much I can say, because that's pretty much like public knowledge at this point. She's crushing it using the exact same model we use. She's the queen of selling organically with Instagram, meaning no paid ads, nothing. Just build something, sell it on Instagram. That's, that's, that's her area of expertise. That's why she's the other head coach. And to be clear, this is a three-month high-level coaching program for vegans who want to live a life of freedom with their own online business earning $10,000 a month at the minimum. In the program, we'd help build out all the tech for you, help grow your audience to make the sales, and of course, get you absolutely clear on an offer that actually suits you and your strength and, and, and your, uh, your desires and something that's already proven to sell. So here's what you'd actually get inside of Course Creator Academy. Right away, you get a private offer and creation call with me. So we get in, we get clear on the offer, get clear on the niche and start building it out right away from day one. The next day, 
you get a private 90 day custom roadmap layout call with another head coach. Um, and you put everything in your calendar. So if you have a you use Google calendar or something, your whole Google calendar will be full filled. So you know what to do every single day for the next 90 days. That way there's, you're not like wasting any time from day one. You just go and get and going. Um, and knowing what to do every step. Then you'd get lifetime access to the home study course creator certification program. We're actually in the pre process right now of turning into a certification program. It's not quite a certification program yet, but by the time you join, it will likely be a certification program. So you can come out the other end as a certified course creator and help other people create courses. Um, and Mondays are all Mondays are with Lissa, focus on growing your Instagram, YouTube, and Facebook audience. Tuesdays is where we take care of all the tech for you because we know people like, that's the biggest issue for people. They just can't get the dang tech set up. And the reason we offer Mondays is because the biggest issue people have before they even get into the tech is they have no idea how to grow the audience or they're not really good at it. So we've grow the audience, then we'll take care of all the tech. And then we get progress checking and advice and feedback calls. And this is because without this, there's no progress. Like without progress check-ins, there is no progress. There has to be, there has to be progress check-ins and you have to constantly be getting advice and feedback on what you're doing. Um, then Thursday to Sunday is we offer three hour group work tanks. So we just get shit done. That's where the progress really happens. Um, and then in addition to that, you know, inside the program, we offer 24 seven step-by-step program progress support in, in the Facebook group. That way you're never on your own. You always have some hands-on help. And then you also get our done for you package number one, which includes all of the pre-made funnels, pre-written emails, ready to go. One click install change some words around, add some pictures, you're done. Saves some friggin' weeks of time, I promise. So you don't need to be good at writing. You don't need to be good at funnel design. All the websites and emails and everything that's used to like sell the actual product is done for you. You're just gonna add your own pictures, add your own words, so it makes sense for you. And then you're getting the second done for you package, which includes all the proven scripts that you'd use to actually speak with your clients and all the product templates so that your ebook doesn't look like trash, your course doesn't look like trash, uh, and everything like just, just again, it's kind of like the pre-written emails. You fill in the blank. Things are done for you. you just add your own picture, add your own words. Uh, and all you'd really be doing every day is the following. You'd be uploading pictures to Instagram. You'd be writing captions for Instagram. You'd be filming YouTube videos. Uh, you'd be helping people on email, Zoom, and the DMs. You'd be organizing your knowledge and ideas on Google Docs. And you'd be do, doing all of the above while working with a coach, either myself or Lissa or another head coach very closely, very, very intimately, a lot of one-on-one -on -one. Uh, and brainstorming on how to improve every day, brainstorming, how do we do this better? How do we do it better? How do we do it better? And then of course, lots of self-care. This is actually something we talk about on day one, how you got to create an exercise routine for yourself, a meditation routine for yourself. Got to get some yoga in there. You got to make sure your sleep is dialed in. You're getting at least eight hours of sleep, etc. cetera. Um, really taking good care of yourself. And this is not a course that you buy and you figure out everything on your own. You have to fend for yourself. This is not what we do. This is an individualized coaching program. And if you don't have an offer yet or a big following or any tech skills, that's exactly why we exist. That's why we put this program together. Okay. Everything we'd work on in the program would be customized for you, your niche, and what, what it is that you want to offer. And it's all going to boil down to you have an offer people actually want, you're making sales, and you're getting testimonials from your clients. Uh, currently, we have a community of over 175 students. I think last time I checked, it's over 180, all of whom are really good at motivating and inspiring each other. And are able to answer questions for you in the Facebook every day. But to really make sure that we're able to give everyone, every student ample attention in the, in the academy, space is limited to just 200 people. So once we hit 200 people, it's over, uh, unless we hit our uh, enrollment date sooner, at the end of our enrollment date sooner. So enrollment does close next week. So if you'd like to book your call with myself or someone on our team today to see if this is a good fit, awesome. Uh, the link is coursecreatorcall.com. And at this time, and for the foreseeable future, we are only working with vegans. Can someone actually post that link in the chat? Coursecreatorcall.com. That'd be appreciated. Yeah, so if you're not vegan yet, go watch Earthlings. Become vegan by tomorrow. Book a call with us and we can get rolling. Um, so if right now you're vegan, you'd like to be your own boss, you'd like to set your own schedule, you'd like to be at that $10,000 a month level, Schedule a call with myself or someone on our team today, and we will get into um, what we can offer. So these are not sales calls. Don't need to worry about that. We won't offer you anything you don't explicitly ask for on these calls. None of that high pressure crap. 
Uh, even if you're not in a position to sign up right away for the academy, that's totally fine. These calls are for us to show you a bit more about the program and there's no obligation for you to buy anything on the call. That's not how it works. What we'll do is we'll take a look at what you're doing right now and compare it to what it is that you're wanting to do. Okay, and that we can see really what gap needs to be bridged. And then we'll show you step-by-step step what we would do if it was us in your situation. None of what we do is cookie cutter. It can't be. Every business is unique. Your business is unique. So that's why we'd get on a call with you to kind of find out you know, what you're doing now, more or less, what it is you want to do. And then what we would do if it was us in your situation. That way, if you decide to work with us, you'll be clear in advance of what it would be like to be one of our students. And if you don't decide to work with us, that's totally fine because we'll at least tell you what we would do if we were you. Okay. And only if we feel 100% confident in working with you, we'll get you on another call and actually sign you up when you're ready to join. And again, our 90 day investment guarantee, investment back guarantee says we make you 100% of your money back in 90 days or we keep working with you for free until we do. So again, just visit coursecreatorcall.com if you'd like to book your call. And if you want to see some of our students who are crushing it, you can go to coursecreatorcall.com. You scroll down and see a bunch of testimonials. That page needs to get updated. We've got so many more students who've joined recently are freaking crushing it. So I need to update that. But uh, yeah, we can talk more about that too on the call if you'd like. So that's the end. That's the end of today. If you guys have questions, I'd be happy to get to it. If you're going to book a call, just type book a call in the chat and I'll look forward to speaking with you or some of our team will look forward to speaking with you and uh, we'll discuss what we just said we will discuss. Riley booked a call. Cool, Riley. We'll see you on there, man. I think it's a guy, maybe. Is Riley also a girl's name? Riley, if you're a, a woman, we'll see you on there. Uh, post your questions in the Q&A because the chat Goes by too fast. It rises a girl. Okay. Sorry about that. Uh, the last slide. Yeah, I'll show you the last slide. Okay, take a take a picture of a few things here. Okay, get some screenshots. Here are the screenshots. Here here's what you um, here's what you'd be doing every day, more or less. Take a picture of that. Here's what you get inside the academy. And you become our student of ours. Take a picture of that. And if I was to start over again, this is what I would do. And this is what more or less we'd work on with you. Okay. Okay. So actually, before we get into Q&A, post your biggest key takeaway, your biggest aha moment in the chat. I want to see what that was for you guys and girls. What was your biggest takeaway? Your biggest learning moment here? We're kind of on time too. 97 minutes. I'm impressed. High five. High five. It's doable. People will pay 5K for weight loss. Yeah. Yeah, you guys got your chat settings, man. Chat settings got to be changed to all panelists and attendees. Flurly was a big key takeaway and the three secrets. Nice ease of ebook creation. It's not about what you want to sell. It's about what actually sells. Yes. How easy it is compared to what I thought. Nice. How many limiting beliefs I have. Oof, more than you imagine. More than you imagine. It's never ending. As soon as people join the program, like all I do with students is continuously get them to believe more than they're believing. Like it's... My main job as a coach in the academy is I'm just constantly getting students to break their beliefs and, and believe something more empowering. Because if a student doesn't believe something, then they won't take action. It's the students who take the most action are the ones who have the most belief. So I'm just constantly having to get students to believe, 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 believe. And they take action, 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 action. And they crush, 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 crush. Bum, 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 bum. Seeing step by step. Yep. There are always like minded people supporting you. Vegan community is the best. Yes. Cool. Okay. Let's get into some QA. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. I appreciate that. Um, 
first question high ticket builds what sorry i missed that oh high ticket it builds your fortune so low ticket is going to help build your audience because everyone can afford like things for a dollar or 10 bucks or whatever so build up an audience of people and then your high tickets what's going to build your fortune Ted, if you had a vegan Facebook page with 4,000 followers, what would be your first move to turn this into a business? You have to find out what they want, right? So you, you, because all business is, is selling people things they want. That's all it is. So you find out what they want. And so one way to do that is, is you can just, yeah, I wouldn't say like, hey, what do you want? It's too generic. So you'd say like, hey, if I was to host a free 30 minute training or a free one hour training on how to create and sell a vegan digital product, would you be interested? And if everyone's like, yeah, 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 do it. That's how this workshop came to be. I just asked in the group and everyone said, yeah, I want that. So I said, okay, I'll make it. So just ask them if they want something. If they don't reply, then don't make it. If they do reply, make it. And you offer a free training. Hey, Ted, I thought in some previous trainings to do an ebook as a free opt-in rather than sell it. Yeah, you can do that as well. Today, I wanted to show you how to create something and sell it though. So that's what I did, but you can easily give it away for free as well. But for that, you need to use a funnel, not Flurly. Is there a way to prevent people from sharing your ebook? No, no. I need to do a YouTube video on this because I get asked this so often. It's as if people are so afraid of their intellectual property, if you will. It's like, guys, you have to get in the giving mode. Give, 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 give. I'm thinking of taking our academy which helps you do everything right here, steps one to nine. I'm thinking of taking our academy and just uploading it all for free on YouTube. Like, because that, the information, you can piece it together. It's already out there on the internet everywhere. It's not the information people want. The reason people sign up for our academy is for our coaching support. It's so we can guide them through it step-by-step step and review and make sure they're doing it properly. Because people try and do that on their own, they're gonna, they're gonna F up big time. They're gonna, they're gonna screw it up. And one way of screwing it up is by having the mindset of thinking like, oh, I should probably prevent people from sharing my stuff. No, you want people to share it. We encourage people to share our shit. Like if you're a student in the academy and you need to share one of, one of our trainings with a friend, do it. Like if you're going to, like, you can't, I can't stop you anyway. I can't stop you anyway. If you're going to share a password, you're going to share a password. So that, don't worry about that. Like just think abundance. Think abundance. Give it all away for free and then offer your coaching for a premium. Don't worry about people taking it. If you are not a nutritionist, how do you handle your credibility with customers? Uh, you got to have results or have gotten people results. Like either have results yourself or have gotten other people results. So like I'm not a, I'm not a nutritionist. People buy health coaching from me. I'm not a certified personal trainer. I've sold lots of fitness coaching. I am not an economist. And yet people pay me to find out what to do with their money. Like you, it's just the results, either your own results or the results you've gotten for customers in the past. And the best way to get started, if you don't have any results, just work for people for free initially and get testimonials. How do you find the micro to speak to for Google Docs? I'm not sure what you mean by that. How do you find the micro to speak for Google Docs? I don't know what that means. Microphone? You just go on your phone and you uh, turn on the uh, voice memo app and you talk on the voice memo app. Will you send the link out after the web to purchase? Thanks. Sherry, what's going on? Uh, Sh Shari, what's going on? I mispronounced it almost there caught myself will you send the link out after the web to purchase what do you which link are you referring to sociotap is free yes terry if we don't have a huge following how will folk find our ebooks great question you've got to grow the following you have to grow the following we you have to grow the following if you want some help with that uh i mean you can go on youtube and search how to grow an instagram following whatever or you can work with us and we will grow your following by a minimum of a thousand followers per month. That's what we do. Shari, what, what link were you referring to? Please explain how to find the book. Like how would it come up in search for random person? It's not. 
It doesn't. It, it, it's in the link in your bio. People, the, the people wonder why I wear this hoodie. Like, why, why do you wear that hoodie? It's a link in bio. Because this is my business. This is my income. Like, my income comes from people clicking that link in the bio. Like, my car that I drive, the food that I eat, the clothing I wear comes because people click the link in my bio. This is my business. So it's not, I'm not on, you, I mean, you can find me on Google, but sales don't come from Google. Sales come from people clicking that link in the bio. Uh, this could be Facebook as well. Yeah, yeah, you don't need to use Instagram. It can be Facebook as well. Don't understand how you're promoting it every day. You're putting your link, you're putting your mention, you're mentioning it in the caption every day and in the stories every day on Instagram. Don't use a website. No, no website. It's link in bio. It goes to the page where people buy the product or it goes to the page where people book a call. And on the call, we discuss if it makes sense working together. And if they ask, hey, can I sign up? Then we talk about what it's like to sign up. But on the call with people, we don't offer anything unless it's explicitly asked for. So we usually we're on the call explaining the program, explaining the program, or not even really explaining the program. We're just kind of asking them what people want to do, what they want to achieve. At the end, if it makes sense, we start talking about the program. And then once we've discussed the program, we kind of leave it up to the person on the phone to say, okay, well, how much is it? I'm curious if I want to sign up. So it's either you buy a product on a, on a website or you book a call and you sign up on the phone. Um, so that's what we're promoting. Is there any way to protect your PDF from being pirated, disputed by, yeah, we discussed that. You want your stuff being pirated. You do, you want it being pirated. I think of some legends. Who are some legends in like the vegan and raw food world? I know a big one named Doug Graham. His stuff gets pirated all the time and I'm glad it does because if, if Doug's stuff didn't get pirated, I wouldn't be such a fan. I got all his pirated shit back in the day. I got all his pirated shit back in the day. It was like a really expensive programs I got for free. And like, it turned me into such a fan. I was like, well, this guy really knows his shit. I wouldn't have bought the stuff anyway. People who pirate, they would never buy anyway. So don't worry about it. They're, they're not gonna buy anyway. I would never have bought Doug's stuff back in the day. But turn me into a fan is free stuff which then made me like a, 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 an, an evangelist for Doug. So I became like a Doug fan through his, his free stuff, which is really just pirated stuff. So you actually want people to pirate your stuff. Can you show the model again, please? Going from ebook to high ticket sales. Uh, model. All you do is you take your ebook outline and then you turn the ebook outline into like your course outline, like what you want to teach in the course. So you expand upon everything. I, I don't really, I didn't really show a model on this, on these slides here. How do you see people suggesting, Ted, how do you see people suggesting slash selling diets when they're not nutrition professionals? Yeah, it's just results, having results. Do you feel a 90 day money back guarantee could be abused? Yeah. We do 90 day results guarantee. We don't do money back guarantee. Money back guarantee is silly because there's no commitment. It's like marriage. Like when you get married to somebody, it's a legal agreement, it's a commitment. And because of that commitment, that's why people actually put in effort to make it work. If, if, if marriage, like if the next day after marriage, if you were allowed to just say, oh, I regret that, I made that mis mistake, 99% of marriages, no, 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 like, high, high percent, 75, 80% of marriages would end the next day. People would just get cold feet because way more people would get married in the first place. Cause like, screw it. I can end it tomorrow. Very few people get married in the first place because there's that commitment factor. So it makes sure that these people are legit. Same with selling your program. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. What about sales letters page, sales pages? You don't need a sales page. You just need um, a bunch of good YouTube videos, and Instagram posts pumping people to go, go get it. How to link it to bank account. That's all in Payhip or Flirly, like I showed you, just create an account there. You'll link it to PayPal or Stripe and through PayPal and Stripe, it links to your bank account. Will you email me the setup for the five minute call for the ebook download? Yeah, uh, let, me, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. let me get you the link for that. When you, when you, uh, 
when you book a call with this link, this is a link from me. And uh, this, just make sure your name, Quintel Hark Harkum, Harkum, is on there so I can know that it's you. Uh, no Facebook ads. No, if you want to Facebook ads, you can, but you don't need to. Is there any other expenses to do what we did say to sell eBooks? I mean, did you see any other expenses? Like Canvas free, Fleurly's free, Google Docs is free. It, it, no, I mean, you saw everything. I literally made a sale in front of you and I didn't spend a dime. So like you can always buy stuff. You can always buy like Canva premium or you can always pay someone to do your book for you or transcribe it for you. There's all sorts of stuff you can do, but you can do it all for free. So we went through a good amount of questions, good amount of content. I think that's it. If, uh, again, if you'd like to book a call with me, visit coursecreatorcall.com. Don't use that link I posted above there. That's for Quintel. Coursecreatorcall.com. Check it out and uh, we'll talk. I'm so glad that you guys made it. This was awesome. Cool, Juan, sweet. Uh, bu -bu -bu -bum. Trying to think, was there anything that I didn't cover that you wish I covered that maybe I could cover like in another future class? That's a good question to ask people. When you finish your workshops, ask them that question. Was there anything I didn't cover that you would have wished I covered? Because now you're finding out what people want. Anyways, please do tell. Someone mentioned growing a following. We've covered that a lot in the past. Yeah, what drives traffic to your account on Instagram? Let me send you a link, okay? If you guys want, tra type traffic if you want traffic. Like more traffic to your, to your stuff. More, more eyeballs on your eBooks and on your Instagram. Copy paste that link and get that book. It's a free book. You'll have to pay for shipping. Maybe it's seven bucks or something. If you're not from America, maybe it's like 20 bucks, whatever. Pay for shipping. That book will get delivered. On the next page, there's an audiobook version. I highly recommend the audiobook version so you can just listen to it. I don't know why I did this. I meant to do this. Uh, yeah, that's the link. This is the Bible on traffic. At, at the ways we get traffic, it's like this book combined with our own proprietary ways inside the academy. But since you don't have our proprietary ways inside the academy, you can at least use that book to get started. This is like, again, it's the Bible on getting traffic. Get that book, get that book, get that book, get the book, get the book, get the book. And traffic's never going to be an issue for you again. If you want to speed things up, obviously we help you do that in the academy. But that book at least will give you a jump start. Uh, would there be any additional expenses to execute on what we would learn in Course Creator Program? So there's two softwares that we recommend people use. Number one is ClickFunnels. And the other one is um, ActiveCampaign. So one is like for building like your landing pages and one is for building like your email automation. Both of which are optional. Both of which are optional, but both of which are, are highly recommended. And if you were to pay for those programs, which again, we recommend, you'd only pay for them once you are profitable. Once you're profitable, once you start making sales, then you'd pay for ClickFunnels and the email automation. And together, those two combined would be a grand total of about $120 a month for running your business. But again, those are optional and you only pay for them once you're making over 120. Okay, so it's depends how you look at it. It's like, does it actually cost you anything if it's like causing you to make the sale? 
Um, it's kind of like, it might be a really bad example, but this is like one of the only examples I can pull right now at the moment because I used to do this. I used to sell marijuana back when it was illegal, which is completely legal now, which is awesome, even though I don't smoke it. I used to sell marijuana and I had to buy Ziploc bags. And I never thought of the Ziploc bags as an expense. I was like, this is my tool. This is what I use to sell the weed. Without the Ziploc bags, I'm not selling weed. So it's kind of like that with funnels and email automation. Like you need those things. Uh, and if you don't want to use ClickFunnels, there's other, there's other softwares you can use. If you don't want to use active campaigns, other softwares you can use, but it's what we recommend. It's what we use, it's what we recommend. And it's, yeah, well worth it. Anywho, I don't, I don't think I got any um, real comments when I asked, was there anything I didn't cover that you wish I did cover? Seb, love that metaphor. <laughs> Good. Glad somebody loved the metaphor. It wasn't used in vain. How does constant contact compare? I have no idea, but what you can do is you can copy paste constant contact and go on Google and type, how does constant contact compare to ClickFunnels or active campaign and just find out. I've never heard of constant contact. The expense for a course, it varies. Uh, someone's asking the price for Course Creator Academy. It varies depending on what level of support you want. We have everything from like no support to like, I do everything personally for you. And I'm working with you like seven days a week. So it ranges, like you can get started working with us or at least you can like start getting access to the information in the academy. Cause like I said, it's DIY at that level for like 500 bucks. And then you can have me like take care of everything for like 30 grand. So where do you want to be on that space? And we have everything in between. So we, we need to find out what sort of level of support you're needing and wanting, and then we can go for it. So if uh, that's everything, if I covered everything, then I covered everything. I'm happy to uh, answer any last questions before we leave. But I think that's it. Well, you guys are fully saturated. That's for sure. Yeah, I can tell your brains are saturated. Who feels like their brains are saturated? We got a saturated brain right now. You feel like you just got sprayed with like a fire hose? Yeah. Good. Ready to start. Awesome. Uh, again, if you want more info on the academy you want more info to see what it would be like to be a student even if you're not ready to sign up that's totally fine go ahead and book a call at coursecreatorcall.com and uh, we'll see if it makes sense for us to work together and to see what we would do if we were you based on your situation all right cool peace peace and here's the link for that book again in case you missed it uh, bum, 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 bum. can you join anytime uh, enrollment closes and we do fill up with students so if it's full by the time you try and book a call we'll let you know but yeah this isn't open forever we need to be able to give our students max attention and if you want to see some testimonials by the way success stories go to coursecreatorcall.com scroll down does the course seem to be vegan related no no but uh it usually is just because the people we work with, but it does not need to be. But yeah, that's it. All right. I'm stoked. I made a sale today, guys. I made a dollar sale. Yes. Thank you, Quintel. Man, that was awesome. I used to do this more often. This is like, I just created like a way, a business model. I know how to make a dollar a day. What you do is you create an epic training, right? You get a bunch of people there. You, you get like 300 people that click the link. Make sure about 130 sign up. Make sure about 60 people show up. Of the 60 people that show up, you show them how to build something as, and you set like the price to a dollar as an example. And then you paste the link in the chat and you get someone to actually buy it live. 
and you made a dollar and just do that every day. You'll be make $30 a month. Can you believe it? Wow. It's the new business model, man. Dollar a day. Dollar a day the easy way. All right. Ciao for now. Peace, peace, much love. Hit me up on uh, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, everywhere you want. Ciao, ciao. Peace, peace, peace. Bye, bye, bye. Actually, I'll just do you guys a favor if you want. Post your Instagrams in the chat and you can um, all connect. Post your Instagrams in the chat and you guys can connect.